Welcome to another episode of Hyper EVs and today we are going to talk about the all new Mercedes EQS which is the pinnacle of electric vehicle luxury. It has been a long time coming for the S version of Mercedes electric vehicles. The S class in Mercedes refers to the ultimate luxury in any vehicle class. Today we are going to look at the top 10 things that you need to know about the all new Mercedes EQS. Let's start. Speed. The 2023 EQS will be available in two different trims, the 450 Plus and the 580 for Matic. The 450 Plus model is powered by an electric motor that powers the rear wheels only. It will make 329 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque. The German automaker says it can sprint from 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds whereas the top speed is limited to 130 miles per hour. The 584 Matic comes with a motor on the front axle as well and features the automaker's 4 Matic all-wheel drive system. It makes 516 horsepower and 611 pounds-feet of torque. Combined enough for EQS to gallop from 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds, this is one of the fastest luxury electric vehicles in the world the top speed is the same as the EQS 450 Plus, which is 130 miles per hour. The EQS comes with many other interesting specs and features. For starters, it features rear wheel steering as standard with an angle of 4.5 degrees. You can, however, opt to upgrade to a 10 degree angle with a tighter turn radius. This can be done via over the air updates. Interior. The EQS comes with a huge 56 inch wide hyperscreen, landscaping through the entire length of the dash. The hyperscreen houses three screens. First up, there is a 12.3 digital instrument cluster behind the steering wheel. Then there is a 17.7 inch touch screen infotainment system on the center console. And finally, there is a 12.3 inch touchscreen for the passenger as well. As you'd expect, they are powered by the fantastic MBUX system. The passenger's touchscreen keeps monitoring the driver and shuts down if it finds the driver is looking at it too much. Mercedes has provided this third screen for the passenger to activate seat features like massage, ventilation, and basic HVAC controls. Even the audio settings, ambient lighting, and navigation can be operated from here. This seems like a screen we didn't know we needed. Number 3. The Design The 2023 EQS is the world's most aerodynamic efficient car, with a drag coefficient rating of 0.2. The EQS beats its chief rivals, the Tesla Model S and the Lucid Air, the latter of which has held a drag coefficient of 0.21 the best rating for a production car until now. The Model S is rated at 0.24. The 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS measures at 205.4 inches in length, 83.7 inches in width, and 59.5 inches in height. The front and rear tracks are rated at 65.6 and 66.2 inches. To put things into perspective, the new fuel-powered S-Class is 2.6 inches longer than the EQS, but similar width and height and tracks. Moving on to the frunk. The frunk. Speaking of the hood, Mercedes did not include a frunk in the EQS. Moreover, the area under the hood will be completely inaccessible to EQS owners. There was a weird side compartment right above the front left wheel where you can refill the windshield wiper fluid. But other than that, the hood is off limits. It's a very odd choice that I can see rubbing a lot of owners the wrong way. Comfort doors. The new Mercedes has a feature where it recognizes as you step towards the car and opens the door automatically when you come near it, so you don't even have to move the muscle. Now, isn't that convenient? The drivetrain of an electric car is already quiet, and Mercedes already excels in making a cabin quiet. That means it will be almost silent in the EQS, which many will appreciate. However, it also gives Mercedes room to play with the soundscapes and create atmosphere on its own. 
the EQS comes with two different soundscapes, Silver Waves and Vivid Flux. The third Roaring Pulse can be bought separately by an over-the-air update. The ambient starts when approaching and getting in the EQS with the welcome sounds. Air quality. If you have the money and you need plenty of things to buy in the EQS, you can absolutely have the control over your environment by adding an energizer air control option. Mercedes doesn't want its customers breathing in the contaminated air. With such things as pollen, traffic pollutants, or anything else, the package adds a large HEPA, high efficiency particulate air filter. And if the recirculation setting is enabled, the interior filters reduce sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and journal odors. It reacts to sensor values detecting the things like outside air quality and will even clean the air in the car before the driver gets in. Ride comfort and dynamics. Ride comfort is everything to a Mercedes luxury vehicle. An EQS four-link axle setup at the front and the multi-link axle design at the rear are similar to the S-Class suspension. It also uses aromatic air suspension with continuous air adjustable damping. The setup also adapts in height relative to the speed, lowering itself at previous speeds to optimize aerodynamics. More impressively, a sensor system and algorithms adjust suspension in real time to the road surface. Advanced Navigation We have experienced electric vehicles that calculate battery usage to a destination and will plan based around charging stations if necessary. Well, the Mercedes EQS system takes those things up a notch, and when calling you the route, it takes into topography, ambient temperature, traffic speed, heating and cooling requirements to calculate the energy demand. If the car needs charging along the route, it will come up with specific recommendations for charging and on long trips with multiple stops. It will recommend the most advantageous charging spots to save time. The car will also work out the estimated charging costs per charging stop. Lastly, the pricing. Mercedes has yet to announce the pricing of the 2023 EQS, but expect it to be priced at a slight premium over the S-Class. So you're looking at a starting price of $110,000 going up to $150,000. That's all for our today's episode. That's all for our today's episode at Hyper EVs. Do let us know what you think about today's episode of EQS and please do subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. See you in the next episode of Hyper EVs.